In this lesson, you will learn about deferred annuity. A deferred annuity is a type of annuity whose payments will be used after a set amount of time has passed from the time of purchase. In the period of deferral refers to the span of time during which a fund is established for future usage. To calculate the present value of a deferred annuity, we use this formula. P equals R, or P equals the difference between two expressions. First expression is R times 1 minus quantity 1 plus J, close quantity, raised to the exponent negative of K plus N over J. And then, the other equation or the other expression is R equal R times 1 minus quantity 1 plus J, close quantity, raised to the negative K over J. Okay? So, it's a bit longer. The formula is a bit longer for the present value of a deferred annuity. Where R is refers to regular payment. It refers to regular payment. And then J um, is the interest rate per period. N is the number of payments or actual payments. And then K is the number of conversion periods in a deferral. So let us have examples. Example 1. Teacher Kelly assisted her student Melissa in establishing a fund today to cover the 4,000 monthly educational expenditures. How much must be deposited, deposited at 3% interest compounded monthly if the payments for these expenses would begin at the end of 5 years from now for 4 years? The given R, R equals 4,000, M equals 12 since it's compounded monthly, and then I is, uh, I to the 12 is 0 0.03 or 3%. The annuity is, differ is differed for 5 years less a month or 4 years and 11 months and will be paid out over the next 4 years. At the end of 5 years or at the end of the 60th conversion period, the first payment is due. Okay, so we have this. To compute for the number of artificial payments, we have K equals M times T. M is 12 and then T is 4 and 11 over 12. So why is it 11 over 12? It refers to 11 months. Since there are 12 months in one year, then 11 months is expressed this way, 11 over 12. Okay? Now, you may directly press these numbers um, in your calculators and derive the answer. But if you would like to, um, to understand how it, how it is solved manually, so we'll go back to our elementary math. So 4 and 11 over 12 is a mixed number. To convert it into, in, into an improper fraction, you have to multiply the denominator 12 by the whole number 4 and then add their product 48, 12 times 4 is 48, add their product 48 to the numerator 11. 48 plus 11 is 59. So that is why we have here 12 times 59 over 12. Okay, for the denominator, just have to copy the denominator of the mixed number, which is 12. Okay. And then, as you can see, 12 and 12 can be cancelled out. So, cancel them out. What is left is 59. So, we have 59 artificial payments in this particular case. How about for the actual payments? Number of actual payments. We have to solve it this way. N equals M times T. M again is 12 since it's monthly. And then T is 4 and 1 over 12. So that is 12 times 49 over 12, okay? So you already have recalled. We already have recalled on how to convert this number into improper fraction, okay? And then again, we have to cancel out 12 and 12. So that is 49 actual payments. And then for the value of J, we have I to the 12 over 12, okay? So our i to the 12 is given already. It's 0 0.03 divided by 12. Therefore, the value of j is 0 0.0025. 
The period of deferral is 59 periods or 59 months. Thus, there would be a total of K plus N equals 59 plus 49. There would be a total of 108 payments. And the present value or the amount that must be deposited is derived by the formula we have mentioned earlier. It's derived by the longer uh, by the long formula uh, we have derived earlier. So by substitution, you have the second equation as shown. Okay, it's long, it's a bit longer than our previous solutions. Anyway, um, as long as you know how to solve for k and n, you can easily solve for the present value of this um, of deferred annuity. So our R is 4,000 as mentioned earlier and then our J as we have solved is 0 0.0025. Our K we have derived 59 um, um, artificial payments and then N is 49 actual payments. Then how? Uh, what else? Okay, we have okay, those are the only variables that, it, that are um, involved in this formula for present value of deferred annuity. Now, using your calculators, um, you can derive now the, uh, the value of the or the present value, which is equivalent to 159,015 pesos and 25 cents. 159,000. Uh, therefore, the present value of these payments is 159,015 pesos and 25 centavos. Example 2. Ted decided to purchase a pension plan for himself on his 45th birthday. Starting three months after his 60th birthday, he will be able to claim 11,000 pesos per quarter for the next six years. If the interest rate is 4% compounded quarterly, what one-time payment should he make on his 45th birthday to pay off this pension plan? The given RR equals 11,000, M equals 4, I to the 4th since it's quarterly, I to the 4th is equal to 0.04 or 4%, and then the annuity is deferred for 15 years and will continue for the next 6 years. The first payment is due 3 months after the 60th birthday or at the end of 61st conversion period. Okay, so K again is equal to M times T. By conversion or by substitution, we have 4 times 15. So where did we get 15? That is 60 minus 45, 60 less 45, okay? Because right now he's 45 years old and then he'll receive his pension at his 60th birthday. So 60 less 15 or 60 less 45 is 15, okay? That is uh, where we have derived the value of t in k equals mt. Okay, then 4 times 15 is 60. So there would be 60 artificial payments. How about for the actual payments? Again, we have n equals mt. n again, uh, m again is 4, and then t is 6. Okay, so 4 times 6 um, is equal to 24 actual payments. So, how about for J? We have I to the 4th over 4 is equal to 0 0.04 divided by 4 is 0 0.01. So, the period of deferral is 60 periods or 63 month intervals. Okay, since that's quarterly, on a quarterly basis. So, again, by substitution, in this using this formula, our R is 11,000 and then our J is 0 0.01 and then our K is 60 and then we also have sold for N already and then using our calculator or by manipulating the operations involved in this equation, you'll get the present value of the different annuity which is equivalent to 128,627.56. Therefore, the present value of these monthly pensions is 128,627 pesos and 56 centavos. I hope you have learned how to solve for 
um, problems involving different animals. Until next time!